Concerning the divisions of the porters of the Korhites was Meshelamiah, the son of Kor, of the sons of Asaph. And the sons of Meshelamiah were Zechariah the firstborn, Jediel the second, Zebediah the third, Jothniel the fourth, Elam the fifth, Jehohanan the sixth, Elioni the seventh. Moreover, the sons of Obedidim were Shemaiah the firstborn, Jehazabad the second, Joah the third, and Sekar the fourth, and Nethaniel the fifth, Amiel the sixth, Issachar the seventh, Peelthai the eighth, for God blessed him. Also unto Shemaiah his son were sons born, that ruled throughout the house of their father, for they were mighty men of valor. The sons of Shemaiah, Othni and Raphael, and Obed, Elzabad, whose brethren were strong men, Elihu and Semachiah. All these of the sons of Obedidim, they and their sons and their brethren, able men for strength for the service, were threescore and two of Obedidim. And Meshelamiah had sons and brethren, strong men, eighteen. Also Hosa of the children of Morari had sons, Simri the chief, for though he was not the firstborn, yet his father made him the chief. Hilkiah the second, Tabaliah the third, Zechariah the fourth, all the sons and brethren of Hosa were thirteen. Among these were the divisions of the porters, even among the chief men, having wards one against another, to minister in the house of the Lord. And they cast lots, as well the small as the great, according to the house of their fathers, for every gate. And the lot eastward fell to Shelemiah. Then for Zechariah his son, a wise counselor, they cast lots, and his lot came out northward, to obey to them southward, and to his sons the house of Asupim. To Shupim and Hosa the lot came forth westward, with the gate Shalacheth, by the causeway of the going up ward against ward. Eastward were six Levites, northward four a day, southward four a day, and toward Asupim two and two. At Parbar westward, four at the causeway, and two at Parbar. These are the divisions of the porters among the sons of Kor, and among the sons of Merari, and of the Levites. Ahijah was over the treasures of the house of God, and over the treasures of the dedicated things. As concerning the sons of Laden, the sons of the Gershonite Laden, chief fathers, even of Laden the Gershonite, were Jehali, the sons of Jehali, Zetham, and Joel his brother, which were over the treasures of the house of the Lord, of the Amramites, and the Izharites, the Hebronites, and the Uzielites. And Shabuel the son of Gershom, the son of Moses, was ruler of the treasures. And his brethren by Eliezer, Rehabiah his son, and Jeshiah his son, and Joram his son, and Zikri his son, and Shelemeth his son. Which Shelemeth and his brethren were over all the treasures of the dedicated things, which David the king and the chief fathers, the captains over thousands and hundreds, and the captains of the host had dedicated. Out of the spoils won in battles did they dedicate to maintain the house of the Lord. And all that Samuel the seer, and Saul the son of Kish, and Abner the son of Ner, and Joab the son of Zariah, had dedicated, and whosoever had dedicated anything, it was under the hand of Shelemeth and of his brethren. Of the Izharites, Chenaniah and his sons were for the outward business over Israel, for officers and judges. And of the Hebronites, Hashabiah and his brethren, men of valor, a thousand and seven hundred, were officers among them of Israel on this side Jordan westward, in all the business of the Lord, and in the service of the king. Among the Hebronites was Jerijah, the chief, even among the Hebronites, according to the generations of his fathers. In the fortieth year of the reign of David they were sought for, and there were found among them mighty men of valor at Jazer of Gilead. And his brethren, men of valor, were two thousand and seven hundred chief fathers, whom King David made rulers over the Reubenites, the Gadites, and the half-tribe of Manasseh, for every matter pertaining to God and affairs of the king. Now the children of Israel, after their number, to wit, the chief fathers and captains of thousands and hundreds, and their officers that served the king in any matter of the courses, which came in and went out month by month, throughout all the months of the year, of every course were twenty and four thousand. Over the first course for the first month was Joshabim, the son of Zabdiel, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. Of the children of Perez was the chief of all the captains of the host for the first month, and over the course of the second month was Dodai and Ahohite, and of his course was Mikloth, also the ruler. In his course likewise were twenty and four thousand. 
The third captain of the host for the third month was Benaiah, the son of Jehoiada, a chief priest, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. This is that Benaiah who was mighty among the thirty and above the thirty, and in his course was Amazabad, his son. The fourth captain for the fourth month was Asahel, the brother of Joab, and Zebediah, his son, after him, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. The fifth captain for the fifth month was Shamhoth the Israelite, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. The sixth captain for the sixth month was Ira, the son of Ikesh the Tekoite, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. The seventh captain for the seventh month was Helez the Pelonite, of the children of Ephraim, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. The eighth captain for the eighth month was Sibekai the Hushathite, of the Zarhites, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. The ninth captain for the ninth month was Abizer the Anatathite of the Benjamites, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. The tenth captain for the tenth month was Maharai the Natophathite of the Zarhites, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. The eleventh captain for the eleventh month was Benaiah the Parathonite of the children of Ephraim, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. The twelfth captain for the twelfth month was Heldai the Natophathite of Othniel, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. Furthermore, over the tribes of Israel, the ruler of the Reubenites was Eleazar, the son of Zikri, of the Simeonites, Shephathiah, the son of Macha, of the Levites, Hashabiah, the son of Kamul, of the Aaronites, Zadok, of Judah, Elihu, one of the brethren of David, of Issachar, Omri, the son of Michael, of Zebulun, Ishmaiah, the son of Obadiah, of Naphtali, Jeremoth, the son of Azrael, of the children of Ephraim, Hoshea, the son of Azaziah, of the half-tribe of Manasseh, Joel, the son of Padiah, of the half-tribe of Manasseh in Gilead, Edo, the son of Zechariah, of Benjamin, Jasiel, the son of Abner, of Dan, Azariel, the son of Joraham. These were the princes of the tribes of Israel. But David took not the number of them from twenty years old and under, because the Lord had said he would increase Israel like to the stars of the heavens. Joab, the son of Zeruiah, began to number, but he finished not, because there fell wrath for it against Israel, neither was the number put in the account of the chronicles of King David. And over the king's treasures was Azmaveth, the son of Adil, and over the storehouses in the fields, in the cities and in the villages and in the castles, was Jehonathan, the son of Uzziah. And over them that did the work of the field for tillage of the ground was Ezri, the son of Chileb. And over the vineyards was Shimei, the Ramathite. Over the increase of the vineyards for the wine cellars was Zabdi, the Shifmite. And over the olive trees and the sycamore trees that were in the low plains was Baal Hanan, the Gedarite. And over the cellars of oil was Joash. And over the herds that fed in Sharon was Shitrai, the Sharonite. And over the herds that were in the valleys was Shaphat, the son of Adlai. Over the camels also was Obil, the Ishmaelite, and over the asses was Jediah, the Mironathite, and over the flocks was Jaziz, the Hagarite. All these were the rulers of the substance which was King David's. Also Jonathan, David's uncle, was a counselor, a wise man, and a scribe. And Jehiel, the son of Hakmoni, was with the king's sons. And Ahithophel was the king's counselor, and Hushai, the archite, was the king's companion. And after Ahithophel was Jehoiada, the son of Benaiah, and Abiathar, and the general of the king's army was Joab.